Okay, so I want to talk about uh, the small board that is based on the TM1638 uh, chip. You can just search for TM1638 on uh, eBay and you're going to see several boards. But the, the one I'm going to be working with is this one that has the eight buttons. Let me open this. It has the eight buttons and eight LEDs and eight characters those are just regular number card characters and uh, those boards are very easy to work with and uh, I already did another uh, YouTube video about this so let me open up this here computer is Getting a bit slower. Oh, come on, computer. What's happening? Oh boy. Anyway, I'm going to open this in, in another window. And uh, here's my code for the bit 707 next. You can see at the top here. And uh, I have created my own code because I'm using three boards in parallel. So as soon as it opens. So I have defined my strobo pin, my clock pin, and my first board IO pin, my second board IO pin, and my third board IO pin. And this is the button hold, the button click values I use to detect button clicks in another piece of code. So the first thing I have to do is initialize the boards. So I just do a strobe and a clock. Here you can see a strobe high and a clock high. First I set the pin modes for all the outputs. So the three boards are sharing the strobe and the clock. It's not open. It looks like my Firefox crashed, I guess. So let me reopen it. And if you go to the to the bit seven seven site, bit seven seven, and you take a look at the videos there. There are two videos there. You see they have the three boards running using the shared cables there. So the three boards have the strobe and the clock uh, wires just shorted and uh, just the IO for the three boards they are different so for the first boards I'm using pin 5 for the second board pin 6 and the third board pin 7 so here I'm doing the the initiation of the of the board this is per the the TM1638 instruction instructions and then I just clear all the settings there. So uh, when I send a, a data, what I'm doing is I'm I'm sending. Uh, let's let's take a look here on the send screen. Hold. I send the first data, which is zero forty hexadecimal. So this is setting the board to auto increment. So each byte I send to the board is going to increment to the next one. So it's much faster to send information. And as you can see here, I'm sending that data, which calls this function here. And what this function is doing, is doing a, a strobe low, and then it's sending eight bits of information in parallel to the three boards here. So it's, it does very fast. This could be speed up by using a direct pin output, but uh, uh, to be honest, Sarah, I didn't want to do that because the code will, would be a, a bit harder to understand. So maybe on the next code, I'm going to do that. But for now, I'm leaving like that. So when I send the screen, I just send 040, then I can send all the bytes one by one 
So the start address I can set in here. So this is called the send data constant, which will send a single uh, byte to the output and it's sending parallel to the three boards. Then it's going to send all my segments and LEDs, which is stored uh, in a variable here. Let me check here. Segments and LEDs. So the LEDs is just three 8 bit uh, data, but the segments are a bit more because uh, each segment has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bits. If you look here, you can see that it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The dot is the last one. So I also created here on uh, this function an option to do read the buttons. And when you read the buttons, is also check for the timing of the button and it will will output for me something that's much easier to read. Now I created some numbers here for the segments. So these are basic numbers, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And I also created here some letters. You can see how the, the system works from here. You can see the X, G, F, E, D, C, B, A. X is the dot, so you can create your own, your own custom uh, variables. And uh, I have some some creator right here. So it's it's very easy to to work with the with this these boards, and you can use this code if you want to create your own, your own calls. And uh, if you go to the YouTube, you can you can check my other videos about it. Well, that's pretty much it for this video. And you can adjust. It just works. Use These boards are very good, very for easy first for steps. Use. Uh, and you can adjust and, uh, the anyway. Just you use a single eight. So you have the virtual eight to drive the three boards and all the sequencing and stuff. So yeah, uh, that's pretty much it. If you want to know something in more detail, just ask me on the comments, and I'm going to explain especially the buttons, the buttons are a bit hard to understand, but uh, they just work, they work very well, well actually. And here on the top, you can just raise these numbers to have better the bouncing, but uh, these two numbers here are already very good for the bouncing, so they're, they're just working pretty well. So okay, that's, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.